Hi Rohit, how are you? I'm good, sir. What about you? Yes, I'm also good. Thank you, Rohit. Uh, Rohit, uh, can you tell me about yourself? Yes, sir. First of all, sir, thank you for this opportunity. My name is Rohit Sharma. I am from Noida. I am currently pursuing B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering from Indian Institute of Information Technology, Bhopal. I have done my schooling from Maharishi Vidya Mandir, Maharishi Nagar, Noida. Along with this, I have also cracked J.E. Mains exam in 2022 and secured 97 percent time. Now, coming to my experience, I have recently did a one-month intensive at Codules Technologies in Greater Noida, specializing in Android development, where I successfully created a food ordering app, to-do app, and so many apps, small apps, not a big project. Mm -hmm. And now, coming to my certifications, I hold certifications in Java, data structures and algorithm, and in SQL from Udemy. Now, coming to my strength and hobby, I considered myself hardworking and self-motivated individual. This is all about me. Thank you. Well, 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 Rohit, uh, I just heard that you have done your internship on Android development, right? Yes, sir. So from Android development, why into data analytics profile? Sir, because I have so much interest in SQL, so that's why I'm trying to switching in data analysis. Okay, but you could have done, uh, you could have gone to, you know, SQL developer as a SQL developer while do again data analyst profile. Yes, sir. My interest is in SQL, so that's why I'm trying to switch. Well, well, well. So are you aware of uh, Power BI? No, sir. I am aware only SQL. Okay, only for and Python. Python and SQL. All right. Fine. So, uh, okay. So, uh, what are your strength and weakness, uh, Rohit? And so my strength is I am hardworking and I consider myself individual motivated. And my weakness is public speaking. To overcome from this fear, I'm taking lecture sessions on my college for juniors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's say, Rohit, I have given you a task. So uh, the task is a bit uh, large scale project. So how would you handle the stress and pressure? I divide the task into sub tasks so that the pressure is not increased on a single person. Mm -hmm. And this is how I manage. Okay, and so on. All right. Uh, well, uh, Rohit, uh, can you describe a challenging situation you have faced in your internship time and uh, how did you dealt with it? So the difficult situation I face in my internship time is that mm -hmm. I am a first year I was a professor at that time, so I have don't I have so not don't so much idea of how to work with team. So okay. at that time I am not able to work properly with the team, and slowly slowly I can gain all the experience and come out from this fear. Well, 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 well. Then how did you handle the feedback and the criticism? Sir, I handle the feedback by providing a good work to the team mm -hmm. because I have only a technical knowledge, okay. not that so much of practical knowledge. Okay, so as you were an intern of uh, you know Android development, and uh, so uh, how did you stay motivated at your works? By seeing the feedbacks of seniors. Okay, what if the seniors had a bad feedback from for you? No, sir. Still, I don't get any bad feedback. All right, that's great. All right, so uh, Rohit, tell me, how would you rate yourself on the scale of 10 while coming to X Excel? In Excel? Mm -hmm. I still need 7. 7, fine. Then uh, let's start. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, so basic question. Uh, Rohit, uh, what is the difference between VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and INDEX MATCH? VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and INDEX MATCH. Mm -hmm. In VLOOKUP, we look up with like vertically and in HLOOKUP like horizontally. Mm -hmm. And what about index match? Indexing survive in index of the data. Like indexing, it is similar to like indexing. Okay, any other points to be added? No, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, how do you use conditional formatting to highlight important trends and outliers in your data? Conditional formatting? Mm -hmm. Any idea? No, sir. Okay. Fine. Well, Rohit, uh, coming back to the questions. Uh, well, uh, let's jump into SQL. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
So, uh, Rohit, tell me the major difference between uh, left joint, right joint, inner joint and full outer joint. Sir, in left joint, we can get the table of the common data of left table and get the common data on right table. Where mm -hmm. is in right joint, we can get the data from the right table and the common data in left table. Or where in cell joint, uh, right joint, left joint and uh inner joint and full outer joint in the full outer joint is like a cartesian product we can get a cartesian product of both the tables okay fine so uh, rohit tell me uh how do you optimize slow running query uh, can you describe the yes can you describe the steps you take and uh, tools you use so I have no idea of slow running process. Okay, fine. Uh, can you explain me the uh, concepts of acid properties in database? So acid properties? Yes. Acid properties are basically the part of the transactions in SQL mm -hmm. in which acid is atomicity and C is consistency, I is indexing and D is durability. In well. atomicity... Yes. Mm -hmm. Please go ahead. In atomicity, again, in atomicity, the if we are performing the transfer of data and if the if there is a oh about in table then it is got about it in consistency we can check the consistency of the table and in duration we can check how in which the in how much duration the data is transferred okay. Okay. fine uh what 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 can how can you differentiate between a subquery and uh, you know join subquery and join yes in certain in subquery we cannot check the common data like and where is in joins we can check the common data like in right join and left join we can firstly check the common data but in subquery we cannot check this type of things are you sure on that yes sir I think. Uh, can you differentiate between union and union all? Union and union all. Hmm. Union, sir, we use union in a single table and union all in to get the union of so many tables, like two or three tables. So, so we can use union all. I think I can just, uh, uh, just tell it. Mm -hmm. No worries. So, Rohit, uh, how do you handle duplicate rows in a SQL query? So by using distinct keyword. Okay. Uh, so, how do you use indexing uh, to improve your SQL query performance? So we can use indexing just like you guys take an example of a book. Suppose if we want to search uh, any topic. So, before we have index, so we can get the direct page number. So indexing is used to direct access of the data. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it saves time also. Okay. Uh, can you mention out some difference between truncate and delete? Truncate and delete. Mm -hmm. So delete, delete, in delete, sir, we can delete the records of the table. And we can use delete with, no, sir, no, sir. And delete, is, uh, delete records all the records of a Table and we can roll back also it. But in truncate, if we use truncate, we cannot roll back the data. We have deleted. Okay. Uh, what is group by? The group by clause is used to group by the data. Okay. Can you give me a, with an example? So just like if we, if we want to group by like we can use here. If we want to fetch the data in groups like. Sir, Example from the Fine, fine. Uh, any, 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 any idea about what is having clause? Having clause, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It is used by after group by clause. Okay. Can you mention out with an example? Just like sir, if we want to having a count is greater than one, we can use having, and after group by we cannot use where clause, so that we can use having clause for conditions. So uh, let's say, uh, Rohit, uh, I want to write a SQL query to find the uh, employee who have not taken any leave in the last six months. How would I do it? 
can you please repeat the question yes so i need my 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 point of concern is like uh, i have to write a sql query to find the employees who have not taken any of the leave in the last 6 months so where i have to write uh, you can just uh, uh, write it in the chat box Okay. Is this the syntax? Sir, I am writing on. Yes, yes. It is good. Okay. That's it? Yes, sir. So I have mentioned a condition of six months. What about that? Six months? Yes. This is. Hmm. Well, so coming back to the Python part. Okay. So Rohit, tell me, uh, how do we handle missing data in the Pandas data frame? Do you know any uh, different methods and uh, when would you like to use each of them? Okay, fine. So, well, uh, Rohit, uh, that's all from my end. Okay, so we'll get back with the feedback again. Okay, till then, all the very best. Thank you.